Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? Hey everybody and welcome to Recipe Roulette, a cooking show where we choose a cookbook open to a page at random and make what it says. I'm Fen, this is my lovely wife Laura, and what are we making tonight? Tonight we are using a found cookbook to put together by a person at random. Uh, we picked it up at a little free library. And from this cookbook, we are making mac and cheese with vegetarian bacon. And the veggie bacon part is because I'm a vegetarian and... I'm trying to cut down on my meat, so... I lose weight. Cut down on the meat, cut down on the dairy. So, I'm only going to have one this meal. It's going to be the dairy. So, let's look at those ingredients. So the recipe for the mac and cheese actually comes from uh, a website, it's marissamore.com and that's because uh, in the found recipe book it was like, use boxed mac and cheese and we were like, well that's boring. So I've used this uh, mac and cheese recipe before. It's easy. I like it. Instapot. Awesomeness. So anyways, I'm going to use a, a box of your favorite macaroni type pasta. I've got these little swirlies. Four cups of vegetable broth. And I'll put the link for our homemade vegetable broth in the description below. Wonderful. A cup of milk. A cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese shredded up. And a tablespoon each of garlic powder and your favorite type of mustard. We're using chili mustard. You can, the recipe actually calls for Dijon. This is what we had on hand. And if you don't like it that spicy, of course, you can go with a regular or, yeah, favorite mustard. And so that's for the macaroni. And then the veggie bacon. Well, that's pretty obvious. You need veggie bacon. Okay. So let's put this together. All right, for your bacon strips, you want to oil your frying pan and get it nice and warm, then crank it down to a medium. And you're just going to layer in your slices. This stuff looks the fakest of any of the fake meats I've ever seen. <clears throat> but hey, I was the one that's like, I want to try this because I want to see if I can get bacon. <clears throat> just going to. Take about eight strips of this. It goes all in there. They got even surface area. Looks like we got a little leftover for breakfast in the morning. <clears throat> and you're just going to basically cook this on medium heat for eight minutes or until it's nice and crispy. And then, yeah, so back to Laura with cooking the mac and cheese. Okay, so our veggie broth is already in the pot. And I'm adding to that the pasta. And that box up. And, oops, my 
my mustard and my garlic powder. I'm gonna hold off on the cheese and the milk for now. Sure that's all getting in there. Don't wanna leave any of your yummy seasonings behind. done and cools off pretty quickly so I'm going to crumble it into our bowl so when the mac and cheese is ready we've got our bacon to add. Oh speaking of adding stuff I just remembered it also said we can top it with scallions which we have growing on our porch. So we can grab some of that while we're waiting too. Alright, I'll go grab some scallions. Awesome. Alright, heading outside. Turn on the lights. Aha! Handful of scallions. <clears throat> Thank scallions. you. Instapot has beeped, which tells me it's time to vent it. If you're new to Instapot venting, I recommend you use a spoon because the steam comes out quickly. more milk. Get this like really saucy with the cheese all melty. Thank you. Welcome. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Instapot mac and cheese. We're going to top this with our veggie bacon and our scallions and we'll see back for the first bite. Alright, first bite of our veggie bacon mac and cheese. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't look like real bacon, but it sure heck tastes like real bacon. Especially if you get it nice and crispy. Mm-hmm. So for the mac and cheese, <coughs> excuse me, um, I think because I was using these little spiral thingies instead of like elbows, um, they had to cook a little bit longer. So I added a little bit more of my veggie broth, a little bit more milk, and had it on saute until they were um, until they were totally done. And if you do work on saute on your Instapot, especially with something like macaroni, you want to keep on stirring it so it doesn't burn. Also added some parmesan and salt and pepper to taste. Nice. Alright, so next week we're using the Betty Crocker International, going back to Betty. Back to Betty. Stop. So we're on an interesting page uh-huh. because it, one of it's a meat recipe section, but one of these could be done with a vegetarian option. Okay. So I'm gonna default it over to the one that we can do. Sounds good. Uh, sausages. Baked in batter. Mm-hmm. Uh. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, alright. Um, yeah, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all those things to let YouTube know that me and Laura are doing a good job. Uh, also, if you want to support the channel, there's merch link down below along with our Patreon link and all that good stuff down in the video description and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye everybody. Peace. Cool? Yeah. Alright, time to dig in. Do you want to stop recording? Oh yeah.